Do I got a fish on? I do. That's got to be another flounder. It was like swimming with me. That's got to be another flounder. It is. That's bigger. This one's bigger. This one's bigger than the last one, man. What is going on here? That's a freaking stud, dude. Good morning, y'all. I am out here today targeting a marsh system in a falling tide kind of transition. We're already midways through the tide cycle, so we're gonna be kind of getting low throughout the day, but mainly looking for speckled trout to be moving up into these bayous and marshes and stuff, and then also trying to target some redfish while we're at it. So, might be some flounder mixed in, never know, but we are gonna be throwing our hoodwinks. I'll show y'all that here in just a second, but yeah, let's get out here, see if we can find some fish. So, the lure we're gonna be throwing this morning is gonna be the Neon Ninja Hoodwink. Awesome little lure right there great little color it's a little clean in here we might be going to something like a cajun reaper cajun pepper color later on y'all can see how that thing just flips through the water right there awesome lure i'll talk a little bit about my setup later on where do we get in here target these creek mouse see if we can find some doggone redfish or trout fish on well we have found our first speckled trout of the day sitting out here in the middle of the channel around some of these crab traps that is a tiny guy got him on the cajun reaper had to swap colors because the water is just insanely clear in here i mean it's probably more clear than anywhere i've ever seen it like makes me think i'm fishing somewhere in florida or something just keep working on down through here picking it apart i'm mixing up my retrieves I'm giving some good chunks out towards the middle obviously around the crab trap stuff like that and then hope oh, something just grabbed it every once in a while i pitch up around the grass i'm keeping my eyes open i want to see any kind of bait flickering any kind of cross currents hooked up on something feels like it's a oh it came off i don't know if it would have been a keeper but it was definitely a better fish but uh but yeah that's kind of the deal is just trying to pick up on any kind of reed it can give me we got a bunch of little creek mouse coming up one here to the right one over there to the left and uh there should be some eddies forming around the edges of those so that's kind of the deal that's what we're doing we're just trying to figure it out right now hopefully we'll be able to key in on a pattern and start putting more of them in the boat there he is a little bit better fish that's gonna be a keeper too all right well that would have been a keeper starting to figure it out coming up to a good junction right here you got two creek mouths one really big creek mouth and another one right here and then your channel is continuing to move on through i would fully expect us to find some fish hidden in here there he is okay continuing the theme here bye bye get bigger A little bit bigger. We getting there. I got a feeling we probably going to find us a big one today, y'all. We will find some bigger fish today. On. Oh, no. oh, that one felt bigger. They're trailing it. They're trying. Oh, another one bit. All right. Yep, we getting to be keeper size. I think the farther we move down this creek, the bigger they're gonna get. That is definitely a keeper right there. See ya. On. There we go, that one's a little bit better. He's staying down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a decent trout this morning. All right. Y'all tell me if you think these trout are loving this hoodwink. I mean, there we are all over them this morning. And uh, that dude 
is a thick guy sitting around 16 inches probably our biggest one of the morning which isn't saying a whole lot but we just got started found this creek mouth right here and then this the trout are just stacked up right outside it and uh they are eating the doggone hoodwink cajun pepper putting in some doggone work this morning on that's another decent one that's another keeper it's every single cast y'all and they're choking it no chance of these guys missing i mean they're taking it in there deep on very next cast little guy that time there's got to be thousands of trout stacked up right here kind of wish i had somebody out here fishing with me with something else just to see how much more effective the hoodwink is over something else when there's that many trout just sitting in one area i mean don't get me wrong with, with anything fishing you still have to find the fish it doesn't matter what lure you're throwing if the fish ain't there they're not going to eat it but there are definitely certain lures that oh my god two of them swiped it right there there are certain lures that can trigger a bite depending on the mood uh the time of year and just a lot of things that, that go into sometimes getting these stubborn fish to eat something well, there ain't no doubt they're firing off on this hoodwink right now on that's another one that's borderline keeper this is probably i don't know the 20th trout we've caught this morning and it is the second cajun pepper hoodwink that i've tied on get let loose and the key to the durability of the hoodwink is to make sure it doesn't slip off the collar of the jig head and basically you do that by using screw lock g heads that way the trout can't pull it down right and then really over time you'll see they'll start to put teeth marks in it and it'll wear down but doing it that way you could definitely catch seven or eight fish on one plastic um love using the screw locks the screw lock jig head i'm using is a vmc swim bait screw lock and uh i found these at field and stream they're five dollars for four packs so very affordable i've caught a ton of redfish and trout on these jig heads so they're pretty solid on again oh, another one that's close to a keeper let's throw up in the creek mouth a little bit see i'm fishing right here got the channel that's coming straight down through here so this is the main flow of current right then you have a creek mouth off here to the left well what's happening is the current comes out of that creek mouth creates a flat in front of them that's just about every single creek is going to be created that way they're always shallow at the mouth deeper as you get back in there as they narrow down and channel that current in one direction well that flat right here gets kind of there's like a defined ledge that's coming through this creek channel and those fish are going to he thumped it those fish are going to stack right there on that channel ledge which i want to say oh that was a better one i think that one was pulling on me a little bit i want to say the creek channel is probably right in line with this crab trap that's in front of me right here but as these feeding windows start to open up those trout will also move into that shallower area where it's easier to feed and they will chase down that bait there we go boom another keeper well if we were keeping we'd be close to a limit right now on the stringer we're not keeping at all but every single one of them is choking that bait, man. All right, let's ease on in here. See if we can pick off a red. Tried fanning around the mouth and not picking up any trout. 
on this flat. I did get a couple of hits earlier on, but they were a lot closer to the ledge. And I think that's where those trout are holding. Um, if there's nothing in this creek, I could always just move back out here to the mouth and target them right there again. He's on. Dang it, found some more small trout. Right here inside this creek, we got a little junction where the main creek channel's running down this way. You got a little creek dumping out. There's a little bit of deep water, a lot of current change. Get out of my boat. And uh, doggone little trout sitting right there. Oh, gotta fix my bait. Oh, he's on. Dude, 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 look at the big trout. Did, oh my God. There were massive trout following it in. <sighs> Calm down, Nate. I had a little trout on and there were two monster trout that were following it all the way back to the boat. <sighs> that was insane. He's on, he's got it in his mouth. That's a decent fish. Oh my God, it's a flounder. It's a flounder and it's a good one. That is a really nice flounder right there. Come here, dude, come here. Oh, boom, baby, boom. Let's go. Mm. Now we gotta catch a redfish. Gotta finish that slam. Y'all look at that dude right there, man. She is thick. Probably easily a 17, 18 inch flounder. Man. All right, now we gotta keep fish right. I do got my stringer on me, so I think we're gonna be stringering this fish. That is a, uh, a decent meal right there. I don't think I wanna throw back. Really didn't expect to catch flounder in here today at all just feel like they would have moved out already or been at least closer to the mouth so i actually had to leave the hook in that flounder he swallowed it so deep so i'm about to re-rig but just wanted to show y'all the jig heads that i am using these are the hybrid swim bait jig heads from vmc quarter ounce and they are just some screw lock jig heads work awesome with this bait get back in here and see if we can find that redfish i'm sure we're going to have some shot that's some more flounder. I know that guy wasn't sitting in here by himself, but got to get that redfish now so we can complete our slam. That would be pretty cool this morning. Before we get in here and try to target that redfish so we can complete our slam this morning, I wanted to uh, talk to y'all a little bit about my setup. I've had a lot of questions recently about this rod and why I'm using it, so on and so forth. Uh, so this is a seven foot two medium fast action rod it is an excellent jigging rod it's made by chubby rods and the really cool thing about this rod is that it is only 129 dollars and it is made right here in alabama by a local uh in atmore so love supporting locals but chubby rods right there the rod is amazing and i could i mean it just launches that bait out there it has amazing deflection Everything on this rod is American tackle. So pretty cool, um, has microwave guides. Um, the reel that I'm using is a Shimano Corrado 71 MGL. Uh, they're pretty new on the market. I think they've been out for, I think going on two years now. And I got it as soon as it came out. Absolutely love this reel. In my opinion, like this rod with this reel is a match made in heaven. If you had, 300 bucks and you wanted a setup for 300 bucks this is the setup that i would recommend time and time again um, but i'm running 10 pound suffix 832 to 15 pound yozuri fluorocarbon uh leader and that is the setup we're rolling with do i got a fish on I do. That's gotta be another flounder. It was like swimming with me. That's gotta be another flounder. It is. That's bigger. This one's bigger. This one's bigger than the last one, man. What is going on here? 
That's a freaking stud, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh. Come here. Come here. Uh uh. Don't get off. Don't get off. Get in the net. Boom. What is going on? Un freaking believable. Just sitting right here in this little basin. Couple creeks coming out, point right there, jigging it. And I'm like, man, I think I got a piece of grass or something on it. Kept reeling. I'm like, dude, that might be a fish. Thank goodness I set the hook. Unreal. Y'all look at how I hooked that fish. How sketchy is that right there? Oh my goodness. That is a doggone four pounder right there, y'all. Unreal. Unreal. Dude, I just literally pulled it out of his lip. Unfreaking believable. Unbelievable, man. There might be another flounder stacked up in here. When you get an area, especially right. Oh, I just got thumped. I just got thumped. That's another. That's a red. That's the red we wanted, unless it's a stud flounder. Oh. I don't know, y'all. Threw right back in there thinking I was going to catch another flounder. On pretty shallow water right there. What do we got? What do we got? Redfish. And that, and that completes the doggone slam. Come here, dude. Unfreaking believable. What an insane day, y'all. I mean, I could not have asked for a better day out here on the water to find the trout stacked up like I did and then come in these creeks, find these flounder, top it off with a doggone slam right here with this red fish. Unbelievable. Boom. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you have not purchased the hoodwink, if you're not out there throwing the hoodwink, you've got to do yourself a favor and uh, you got to get some, y'all. I mean, the proof is right here. Coming in here, we're catching everything on these baits. And I mean, they're, they're not being hooked on the outside of the mouth. Maybe that last flounder was, but like they're eating this lure. Just an insane, insane morning. I am so pumped up right now. All right, y'all, we are gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. Couple of things, if y'all wanna go out there and book a trip with us, come out here, catch these speckled trout, flounder, and redfish. Be sure to check out the description. There will be a link there to the Fishing Chaos app. You can go on there, check the availability, pick the type of trip you wanna pick, and then it'll also give you the rates for those trips. Uh, also, if y'all wanna know where we're fishing at, I put Google Earth overlays of most of all of our trips. There are over a hundred videos on there. So if y'all are looking for new places to go fish or areas to try, or maybe expand on the current areas you're already fishing, be sure to check out our Patreon page. That link will also be down in the description. Uh, but yeah, y'all, hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed being out here. If y'all would, hit the like button, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.